The front has been taken away. The range gets dropped a lot more than it should. When you look at a Hyundai, Toyota, these things are available. Something that Audi still needs to work on. But what you're losing out in the winter is actually a lot more than you think. That is, the brakes are noticeably bad. The quality is so much different that it's very, very noticeable. Because in high speeds, it could get you into trouble. I guys hope you're good because I'm good and hope you're good and we can all be good together. Welcome back to Abraham's Garage. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the things that I don't like about the Audi Q4 e-tron. Uh, these are my personal opinion from the time I spent with the car, shared with the opinions of the owner of the car, so what he told me from the time that he had the car. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and if you like the video, give me that thumbs up. Let's go and check them out together. All right guys, so the first thing that I don't like about this car is actually the front. So the front has been taken away. You could use originally for additional spots or on electric cars, this car doesn't have. So the trunk itself is it's okay. It's not too big, it's not too small, but it would be nice to have an additional space in the front available on different type of electric cars, but this particular car doesn't have that. All right, guys, well, something else that I don't like about this particular car is the range in the winter. I know electric cars happen to drop their range in the winter, but when it comes to these Audis, from what I've seen, the range gets dropped a lot more than it should. So let me explain to you. Basically, if you go and they tell you 400, the drop on this car is a lot more than an average electric car. And I believe that's something that Audi still needs to work on. Because again, once you go to the L Center or office or whatever to purchase this car, they tell you this is the range. They also tell you in the winter it will be less, but they don't exactly tell you how much less. They say a little bit less, but what you're losing out in the winter is actually a lot more than you think. All right, there's something else I'd like to talk about, and I said this about the last e-tron that i viewed is that the tailgate is on the higher side so now when you're trying to put groceries and stuff in you'd actually have to lift it up and put it in instead of just carrying it and putting in it and then you might be thinking that i'm a younger guy and yeah i can put it in but i can even tell you for a younger guy like myself it's harder to do that especially once you get older you want to be able to put things into the car easier and uh from what i've noticed is the line is higher on these type of audi something i don't really like all right guys well something not good with the car is the braking system the back brakes happen not to be discs like normal they are regens and now the problem with that is the brakes are noticeably bad it's part of a car that has a lot of safety features i would say brakes are number one when you go back 20 30 40 50 years ago what you see developing over time is brakes now it's good that this car has regen because they sell it to us you have less maintenance to do because you don't have to replace it and this and that but the quality is so much different that it's very, very noticeable. And that's not good because in high speeds, it could get you into trouble. One more thing that I'd like to talk to you about is also the features in this car. Something I noticed missing in the back is the heated seats and in the front, the cooled seats. Now, price point of the car, I think that this car should have these things available because like I always say, when you look at a Hyundai, Toyota, these things are available. But this car is an Audi, it's a German car, it's a luxury car, plus Q4 e-tron is not a cheap Audi, it's not on the bottom of the line. So if you're paying this much, backseat heaters should at least be an option in 2023, 2024 that's standard on this car. And this, again, going back, this blows my mind because this is not a low package of this car. This actually has a lot of upgrades and that's not part of it. All right, guys, well, these are the things that I don't like about the Audi Q4 e-tron. Let me know down in the comments below if you have this car and if you have these problems, or if you have different problems with this car. Also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, give me that thumbs up. Hope to see you soon in my next video. Have a good one.